AMT's 1933 Willie's Van tonight on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Tonight we're going to look at a neat kit. This is AMT's 1933 Willie's Van. Now this is a reissue from the company that came out in 1996. You can tell because it's got a barcode. And this is one of those really cool retro kits. It was a dragster. And we're going to go down to the bench now and open up the lid on this baby. Drag City, here we come. Oh yeah. Now here's a great one for you drag racing model kit building fans out there. This is AMT Ertl's 1933 Willie's Van. And for some reason I kind of got this blue haze going on here. Don't know what happened there. But this is a cool old dragster kit from 1995 that they reissued. The original box is of course from the 70s. The box art I should say. This one came out under RC2, and you could probably find it on eBay or something. This is out of my own collection, so let's check it out. So, of course, well, here's an easy start. There's the body for it, which is a really cool, a one piece with fenders and everything molded in. Nice, nice work. The 33 Willys, of course, was a smaller car company at the time, rival to Ford and Chev, and the cars are really small. And in the 60s and 70s, a lot of people used them for dragsters, where they could shove in something massive like this Ford 429 supermotor from 1969. Yeah, this thing is crazy. Look at these exhaust pipes and everything. This kit, of course, was built when drag racing was in its infancy, as well as heyday. And you get the nice fuel water tank, radiator combination, the roll bar, little bucket uh, compartment in there, a floor extension for your van, and then check out this undercarriage. It's lots of chrome in there. Really cool stuff. And then your glass and your firewall. And of course, a Simpson chute pack, your parachute to stop you at the quarter mile. Now let's take a look at these cool decals. You can add Vantastic. Now keep in mind, these are all going in this panel here. So you could put Vantastic there, a Yellow Fever, the Leapin' Lorry, and a bunch of list of what's in here. Hydromotive transmission, Mondello heads, uh, Venolia pistons, Iski cams, and Schaefer. <laughs> S-O-H-C it to ya. Sock it to ya. That's the uh, Ford engine. The single overhead cam. S-O-H-C. It's very cool decals. And now... We have this nice frame. The cool part is, you see these little pins here? These go into the hood right underneath in there. And you drag racer guys know what that means. Flip front. That's right. Flip open that hood and see the engine. And then, of course, speaking of the little parts, there's your radiator and some of your Eyelets in the drag chute. Here's that big Ford 429 engine. Doesn't look so big in 25th scale. Huh? <laughs> There's your interior bucket with no floor, but that's okay because that's part of the undercarriage. And there's your seats and dashboard. As you can tell, there's not very many actual gray pieces because you get a double chrome sheet with uh, pretty much everything you ever wanted in chrome in chrome. So you got your differentials in chrome, your roll bars in chrome, your engine covers and pieces are chrome, your steering wheels chrome, your 
your disc brakes are chrome, your suspension is chrome. Yeah, this is a chrome lover's paradise. And for you guys who don't like chrome, you can just strip it all off using um, Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Forgot what it was for a minute. There's your glass. You get this windshield as well as side windows molded in one piece and the little piece for your oval rear window. And of course, subscribe to the blue printer. That's very old. And here are your tire choices. <laughs> Provided I can get them out of the box. Your great big Goodyear Slicks. These were popular tires from AMT back in the day. As well as your Firestone Front Skinnies. Which are in a lot of the stock versions of kits like the 32 Ford and 40 Ford and a bunch of those others. So quite an interesting set of wheels. And with that, we are concluded with our review of the 33 Willys van. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at this 1933 Willys van kit. And if you would like to see some of the other models that I've reviewed in the past, please, please click here, click here, and click here. And don't forget to subscribe to us right down here so we can continue on our expose of old AMT kits on Monster Hobbies Let's Build It.